My name is Lindsay Hoffman and I live in the Randolph Hills neighborhood outside of White Flint. I live with my family. I have two little boys. Getting around Montgomery County, we don't have many choices beyond using our car. It can take me 10 minutes, it can take me a half an hour. That's usually the range, is somewhere in there. I live uh, near White Oak and it often takes me 40 minutes to drive to downtown Silver Spring during rush hour. White Oak to Rockville every day and it turned out to be a two, and a, two hour and a half commute um, one way if the buses were on time. Which makes it tough when you're trying to rush home to get to relieve the babysitter or make it up to the office for a meeting. That we would have a 21% population growth by 2040, 39% uh, growth in employment, but 70% growth uh, in congestion. Well, for the last 50 years, we, we planned for more and more cars going and more and more sprawling development going out in every direction. And we've reached a, a dead end with that. So the challenge now and the exciting thing is to figure out how we can plan for the future People describe it as, you know, like a train without the tracks. It's a, a way to provide fast, reliable bus service using dedicated lanes, fare machines outside of the bus so you can pay your fare before you get on. The stops are often farther apart, you know, half a mile or a mile apart so the bus doesn't have to stop as often. Uh, and all of these things, you know, ensure a faster, more reliable ride for, you know, everybody. Existing local bus service is hung up in traffic with, with uh, the same lanes uh, in slow speeds. Bus rapid transit is intended to have a much faster, more reliable service that's not hung up in congestion. And the system that's proposed for Montgomery County is a 79 mile, 10 uh, route network. It goes all over the county. Queen, it serves you know, the county's major employment centers, it serves uh, residential neighborhoods, it serves the places where we go to hang out and eat and spend time with our friends and family. Really, it's a way that we can bring the county, everyone in the county, closer together. One of the advantages of this is what we call level boarding, so that there are no steps to board. This should be a great boon for, um, for older adults and for people with disabilities who live close to this area, to these areas where the, the lines are going to be, to be able to get, um, have access to other places, parts of the county. When I saw the proposed BRT transit system, I was really excited because he went through the major routes that I took to get to Montgomery College. And I didn't have parents that could buy me a car or I just didn't have any other option that I had to take the bus. It's expensive to run a car to pay for gas, to pay for maintenance. That money could go to other things, you know, like uh, food or you know, having fun with my friends and family, but instead I spend it on my car. Transportation is a, is a huge part of the uh, contribution to greenhouse gases, but also can be a huge part of solving the problem of climate change. When you have 40 or 50 people in a rapid transit vehicle, their carbon emissions per person are much lower than if you had 40 or 50 people driving 40 or 50 cars. I think that rapid transit is our best option. It's flexible, it is the least expensive of the options, and it can provide frequent, reliable service. It'd be nice to have that extra option for getting around, um, to not have to buckle the kids up in their car seats and go to one shopping center and then buckle them up in their car seats and take them to another shopping center. Um, it'd be nice to be able to hop on, hop on a rapid transit vehicle. It's going to be easier and cheaper than widening all the roads, building more highways. You know, I, I honestly think this system is going to be a win-win for everybody in Montgomery County, uh, provided that we have the, the will to do it.